case has gone cold to mysterious disappearances. Here are the top 10 dark unsolved celebrity mysteries we're still trying to solve. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Barbara Colby. It was July 24th, 1975, and Barbara Colby, a talented American actor, and her colleague James Kiernan had just wrapped up an acting class in Venice, California. As they strolled towards their car in a dimly lit parking area, an unimaginable tragedy unfolded. Out of nowhere, shots rang out, shattering the peaceful evening. Barbara Colby's life was instantly extinguished, leaving a void in the entertainment world. James Kiernan, miraculously clinging to life, summoned the strength to share vital information with the authorities. He described the assailants, though he couldn't place a name to their faces. The chilling reality dawned upon everyone that the attack had occurred without warning, motivation, or any discernible cause. Puzzled investigators meticulously analyzed the scene, hoping to uncover a motive or a potential robbery gone awry. However, they found no evidence of an attempted theft, leading them to a startling conclusion. This was a random act of violence, a merciless drive-by shooting. As the days turned into months and years, the elusive killers managed to evade justice, their identities shrouded in darkness. Decades have passed since that fateful night, yet the case remains hauntingly unsolved. The memory of Barbara Colby as well as many unanswered questions remain. In our number 9 spot today, we have Brian Jones. Brian, a founding member of the iconic rock band The Rolling Stones, met a very mysterious and untimely demise. On July 3rd, 1969, Jones was found lifeless at the bottom of his swimming pool at his home in Sussex, England. The official cause of death was recorded as drowning due to misadventure, but suspicions and unanswered questions have persisted. Controversies surround the circumstances leading up to Jones' death. Some believe that his passing was a tragic accident, possibly caused by ingesting illicit substances or a combination of substances, impairing his judgment while swimming. However, conspiracy theories suggest foul play and the involvement of others. The true events leading to Brian Jones' demise remain elusive. The unresolved mystery surrounding his death has fueled ongoing speculation, with some calling for a reopening of the case to uncover the truth behind his tragic end. In our number 8 spot today, we have Jill Dando. Jill was an English journalist and a television presenter until she was killed outside of her southwest London home in 1999. This created the biggest manhunt the country had seen since the Yorkshire Ripper in the 70s. A man named Barry George was originally convicted and sentenced to prison for this terrible crime, but he ended up actually being acquitted years later, which now leaves this case unsolved. Jill's next door neighbor heard a surprised gasp from Jill, but he never heard a shot and said it sounded more like someone who was greeting an old friend. The same neighbor looked out of the window and actually saw whoever the killer is, but of course at the time didn't know who he was or what had just happened, and he didn't recognize the man, so he was unable to give an identification. There are tons of speculations and rumors about who took Jill's life, and it ranges from a potential stalker to maybe even a hit job. Hopefully one day there will be answers on why someone would have done something so horrible to Jill. In our number 7 spot today, we have Richie Edwards. Richie Edwards was a prominent member of the Welsh rock band Manic Street Preachers, and he mysteriously vanished without a trace on February 1st, 1995. In a very perplexing turn of events, Edwards checked out of his London hotel and seemingly vanished from the public eye. Despite exhaustive searches, thorough investigations, and a dedicated effort to uncover the truth, no concrete evidence or clues pertaining to his whereabouts have ever been discovered. The enigma surrounding Edward's disappearance has sparked a plethora of theories and speculations. Some believe he may have taken his own life, pointing to his history of depression and self-destructive behavior. Others suggest the possibility of a voluntary disappearance fueled by his desire to escape the pressures of fame and public scrutiny. And astonishingly, there are even those who entertain the notion that Edwards may still be alive, living a reclusive existence away from the spotlight. 
talent. While the world of music mourns the loss of an exceptional talent, the true fate of Richie Edwards remains shrouded in uncertainty. In our number 6 spot today we have Bob Crane. On June 29, 1978, the world was stunned when Bob Crane, a beloved actor renowned for his portrayal of Colonel Hogan in the TV series Hogan's Heroes, was tragically discovered bludgeoned to death in his apartment in Scottsdale, Arizona. The gruesome nature of his killing sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and beyond. A suspect was eventually brought to trial, yet the outcome proved inconclusive. Despite the legal proceedings, the case remains unsolved, leaving a cloud of uncertainty hanging over the circumstances of Crane's killing and the identity of his killer. The enigma surrounding this high profile crime has fueled intense debates and ongoing investigations. Numerous theories have emerged over the years, speculating on potential motives and potential culprits. Some believe that the motive was rooted in personal conflicts, while others suspect a connection to Crane's private life given his involvement in a highly publicized and controversial sex scandal. Yet the truth remains elusive and the killing of Bob Crane remains a haunting mystery. In our number 5 spot today we have Jack Nance. Jack Nance was an actor best known for the series Twin Peaks, and on December 29th, 1996, Jack had lunch with a couple of friends and they noticed he had a bruise under his eye. When they asked him about how he got it, he just said he got into it with someone outside of a donut shop and that he guessed he got what he deserved. Jack left the lunch complaining of a headache and the next day he was found passed away in his home. It turns out his injuries had caused a subdural hematoma, which was his cause of death. This would mean whoever he got into a fight with, whether it was an accident or not, was the one who caused his death and should most certainly have to pay some kind of price for that, but no one knows who this person is or was. It really does make you wonder if this person knew who they had punched and if they knew that they caused his death. You really hope that if they did, they would have come forward. In our number 4 spot today we have Thelma Todd. Thelma Todd was a wonderful comedic actor and well respected respected woman, and on Monday, December 16th, 1935, Thelma was unfortunately found after she had passed away in her car. The circumstances surrounding her death have always baffled people. It is said that after leaving a dinner with friends, Thelma returned to her home, but she had been locked out, so she headed toward the home of Jewel Cartman, who was the former wife of Thelma's lover, Ronald West. When Thelma arrived there, it is speculated that she went down to the garage and got in the car, presumably to warm up. The death was eventually ruled accidental and the cause was carbon monoxide poisoning, but people just could not accept that answer. The night before Thelma was found, she was at a dinner party with friends, and the autopsy report showed the contents of her stomach were not things that they had been served at the dinner, which leaves the question, where did she go that night that has not been accounted for? Some people think she may have taken her own life, but people close to her say that they believe that it is highly unlikely. Some people accept that it may have been accidental, but some people believe some some sort of foul play was involved. In our number 3 spot today we have Dorothy Arnold. On December 12, 1910, Dorothy vanished under perplexing circumstances that continue to baffle investigators to this day. The last known sighting of Dorothy Arnold occurred as she strolled along the bustling 5th Avenue in New York City. Despite exhaustive searches, extensive media attention, and a relentless pursuit for answers, no trace of her has ever been uncovered. Her disappearance, full of mystery, has left behind a void of unanswered questions that echo through the decades. Numerous theories have emerged over time, ranging from theories of voluntary disappearance to more sinister possibilities. Was it an unfortunate accident? Did she choose to start a new life far from the spotlight of her affluent upbringing? Or did a darker fate befall her? At this point in time, what exactly happened is totally unclear, and the truth is, we might never know for sure. In our number 2 spot today we have Bruce Lee. The world was left in shock on July 20th, 1973, when Bruce Lee, the iconic martial artist and actor, passed away unexpectedly at the very young age of 32. The cause of his untimely demise, attributed to cerebral edema, sparked a flurry of speculation and enduring theories that continue to captivate enthusiasts and fans to this day. Numerous hypotheses have emerged, each offering a different perspective on the circumstances surrounding Lee's tragic death. Some proponents of foul play suggest hidden motives behind his demise, pointing to potential enemies or conspiracies within the entertainment industry. On the other hand, another school of thought suggests that Lee's demise was an unfortunate result of an adverse reaction to medication. Despite extensive investigations and medical examinations, the exact cause of Bruce Lee's death
death remains a subject of debate and ambiguity. The elusiveness of the truth adds an air of mystery and intrigue to his already legendary status, leaving admirers to ponder the final moments of the martial arts legend and mourn the loss of a remarkable talent that was taken far too soon. And finally, in our number one spot today, we have Virginia Rapp. Virginia was a model and silent film actor before her passing in 1921. On September 5th of that year, she went to a party at Roscoe Arbuckle Suite at the St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco. There are many accounts of what exactly happened this night, but none match up exactly, so what really happened is still quite unclear. Virginia suffered some sort of trauma at this party and was taken to the hospital where she passed away on the 9th due to a ruptured bladder and the subsequent infection in the wall of her abdomen due to that. There are two main possibilities for what happened to Virginia that night at the party. The first theory is that some underlying health conditions she had, such as a UTI or STI, mixed with the consuming of alcohol may have caused this. I am certainly not a doctor, so I'm not sure how possible or likely this is, but it is one of the main speculations. The other one, which many people insist is what actually happened, is that her injuries were caused by a violent attack on her by Roscoe. This was first claimed by the person who went to the party with Virginia, but they were often discredited due to their record of extortion and blackmail. Roscoe went through three trials, but was ultimately acquitted for the crime. Even though this happened a full century ago, many people still debate what may have happened to Virginia that night, and unfortunately, we may never know. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye!